an infuriating story, Lewis. Infuriating. I might have said that wrong. I don't know, because I'm so infuriated by the story. The hacker who exposed the Steubenville rape case potentially could face more jail time than the convicted rapists. Hackread.com writes that charges framed against the 26 year old corporate cybersecurity consultant Derek Lostutter, who helped in posting a video of that inf infamous 16 year old rape case in Ohio, not that the case is 16 years old, but rape of a 16 year old now could face a jail term five times longer than the convicted rapist. TechCrunch reported that the young American made the rape case a national shame and outrage by posting video of the rape on the fan page of Steubenville's big red football team that showed some of the team members having sex with and humiliating and raping this 16 year old drunk girl in August of 2013. He was handcuffed and detained outside his house while the FBI used abusive words against him, searched his house, took his computer and Xbox. On the other hand, Lostutter says that this was completely politically motivated, right? He says that uh, it's an anti hacktivist action or kind of trying to set an example. And if he is convicted of, of the hacking itself or of related crimes, he could face a jail term up to 10 years up to 10 years, which would be much longer than the two year terms that the rapist received. Now, to be clear, the maximum rape sentence in Ohio for a first time rape is 25 years and the maximum for hacking is 10 years. So potentially, because we now know that the rape uh, 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 punishments are two years, it could be higher. But I'm not suggesting that broadly speaking, hacking carries a longer penalty than does rape. That is not what I'm suggesting. Now, simultaneously, listen to this, Lewis, Steubenville rapist Malik Richmond has been released early from a juvenile detention center. He was sentenced to one year and he has been released after nine months. Meanwhile, the hacker who exposed it faces up to 10 years. Right. It's a, uh, it's a tricky situation because what you, you do have someone who is hacking, who is tampering with evidence, right. who is, um, and you don't yeah. want to encourage Lewis, just this kind of vigilante start hacking around because what if you don't discover this, right? You still have committed a crime. That's not really what we're suggesting, but you have to, pr you have to have context here. Of course you have to have context. You have to put things into perspective. And I'm willing to bet that even two years in jail would be enough to make sure that this man would probably never attempt something like that again. Unfortunately, we can't really expect the current Congress to adjust laws relating to the Internet to kind of take into consideration how the Internet is actually used, because we are dealing, Lewis, with the least productive Congress in about 20 years. So we're probably not going to get any help from them. Right. Legislation uh, it, all over the technological world. Legislation has fallen way behind here.